To our viewers, we look forward to presenting to you today the most advanced concrete waterproofing and structural protection product ever to be developed. Uh, first utilised in 1975 and still going strong. Now, on our first building outline today, we are going to show you how to achieve low-cost, fail-safe, environmentally friendly, lifetime waterproofing for both above and below grade. We will then explain in simple terms the basic differences between generic crystal growth materials, such as our Radmix product, and the unique Radcon flexible gel reaction. And actually, depending on your specific requirements, you will then be able to click on to a required segment, be they water holding vessels, trafficable areas, or rooftops. So let us begin with our building diagram and we will move along. Here we actually have listed all of the generic types of waterproofing for both below grade in basement low thermal stress areas and then your above grade applications in high thermal stress areas. Now how we approach a commercial building is that we would always recommend our Radmix crystal growth admixture for below grade. Being low thermal stress, this product that will produce a crystalline material has a capacity for minor cracking and rehealing and alleviates any of the worries of the detailing of traditional membrane materials where just a pinhole can mean total failure to the site. And then of course for above grade, our high thermal stress area, we have Radcon meeting its membrane spec with regard to the uh, prevention of water ingress into the concrete and the steel reinforcement and also a reduction of any salt ever reaching the steel reinforcement. So let us move along to our first segment. Here we are looking at our crystal growth that would be typically used in a basement area. We have our applicator uh, using a hopper to put the slurry over the block work and by crystalline penetration preventing ingress of water from the outside of the building. However, for full protection we always recommend the crystal growth as an actual admixture. Put into the concrete truck so the protection starts from the outside of the concrete where you will have aggressive groundwaters, salts and contaminants will prevent any entry to the steel. Although it is still surprising how many countries prefer to build a basement slurry the inside and uh, produce a lifetime waterproofing result. Now these are the actual crystals of a rad mix. They're a, a rigid crystal, they're what's known as a dendritic crystal and of course you're probably familiar with many crystal growth names from around the world. They do a wonderful job in low thermal stress and of course are quite suitable for water holding vessels given their non-toxicity and of course the low thermal stress application. Now, key, key points for our crystal growth is that the costs of water reducers or, or plasticizers are removed because they're not required. The crystal growth will slow the initial set, improving the workability. Uh, it adds in itself air entrainment. Will protect against steel corrosion as an admixture. And of course prevents both chloride uh, ion attack and sulfate penetration. And of course most importantly with any Rad Creek products, non-toxic and, and safe for potable water applications. Now, why is Radcon different and why are we talking crystal growth? Well, we're talking crystal growth to give you a total uh, below grade and above grade uh, product range. But Radcon is the product that can meet membrane spec in high thermal stress. So what is it? It's a bio biochemically modified silicate solution. It is spray applied to cure concrete and it is watered over a three day period. The water is allowing the Radcon product to react with the calcium, forming complex cal calcium silicate hydrate gel within the cracks and the matrix of the concrete. So it is not a surface film, it's creating a subsurface barrier or a subsurface membrane, uh, giving us lifetime waterproofing in concrete. Now, of course, odorless, non-toxic, non-flammable, biodegradable, and environmentally friendly. 
The major difference with Radcon, amongst other chemical products, is Radcon is remaining reactive in the concrete. So should future hairline cracks occur or should the building go through a one-off settlement, rainwater alone will reactivate the product at any point in time in the future, resealing the crack and restoring a total seal. Now, this is the difference. Radcon is forming a glassy amorphous gel and this is where it has just been applied but it has not been watered and it is in an unreacted state under an, a scanning electron microscopy photograph. Here we see no cracks with Radcon. Radcon penetrated zone, no cracks and voids. Radcon will, will move around the aggregates and will fill the cracks and give us one nice waterproof, watertight, salt-proof, amorphous concrete. 